As lionfish continue their march across the Atlantic and Caribbean, and until nature takes the lead in fighting the invasion, this video series will help you give nature a hand by becoming a lionfish predator. In our first episode, you learned about the equipment you'll need. Now you have your pole spear, your puncture-proof gloves, and a containment device. Along with your dive gear, everything's checked and ready. You have proper weighting for good buoyancy control, and you've checked your buddy's gear and talked over your plan. Remember, dive safety first, then lionfish. No matter what entry you make, control that spear. It's time to become the Predator. Now you're ready for an adventure in the big blue. Know your skills and limits. Get buoyancy control before starting to hunt. That protects you and the environment, reduces air consumption, and gives you more bottom time. Don't hurry, be methodic. Approach, spear, transfer. And when you move the lionfish to the container, always be in control and alert, keeping both hands away from the fish. Learn how lionfish behave. Use a dive light to find some resting under ledges. As you approach, look up toward the ceiling first. That's probably where the lionfish are you're more likely to find them out and about at dawn and dusk when they do their own hunting. It's easy to get too focused on the thrill of the hunt. So it's a good idea for one diver to spear while the other's on the lookout for predators and helping keep the hunter safe. And don't be surprised if some normally docile fish like nurse sharks and eels get excited when they see you hunting. If that happens, don't make any sudden moves. These predators can be very dangerous when they decide to steal your catch. This behavior is one reason we don't want divers feeding reef fish. They learn quickly that divers are good for handouts. By the way, how's your air? Your bottom time? Are you still neutrally buoyant? And which way is the boat? As your hunt continues, don't get complacent. Are you letting your hands get a little too close to those venomous spines? Are you overstuffing your container? If so, spines may be sticking out the opening, waiting for a careless victim you. If you do get stung, alert your dive buddy right away. Take off your jewelry before the swelling starts and abort the dive, but stay in control. Keep in mind that as you ascend, the pain may become excruciating, so keep your buddy close. Finally, don't dive with a just one more mentality. That's when accidents happen. When your air is running low, your time is short, or your container full, end the dive. The lionfish will be there when you return. Be safe so you can. Always remember, by removing lionfish, we're being stewards of the ocean. But we have to do it without harming anything else. So take only lionfish and leave only your bubbles. Don't miss Lionfish Handling, the next episode in our series from Lionfish University. And thanks for watching.